Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel. In today's video, we're fixing a few issues on the S80. I'm having an issue with the windscreen washers and also the headlight washers aren't working at all either. But um, obviously, most concerning is the windscreen washer, if we can get to focus. So we get a little bit out of this one um, and pretty much nothing. But um, obviously, with the salty roads and everything, it's a bit of a nightmare. So I'm going to show you guys how to clean those out i'm also going to fix the headlights washers um now i spent 110 pounds on a new pump um so i do hope that, that hasn't broken because that's been in the car for less than two months um what i think has happened is that the one of the pipes has come off and it's leaking um causing it to all come out the bottom here so um that's going to be a bit more of an involved job, um, but to start off with, we're going to lift the bonnet, disconnect the pipe work for the bottom there, and try and get these cleared out as much as we can. I'll just show you guys quickly what, um, how bad it is. Okay, then, so you just saw how particularly bad this is. We've got a little dribble to come down. Um, onto the front of the car now one of the reasons as well that i want to fix the headlight washers is the fact that they're just getting covered and covered in salt um, which means they're rubbish so i want to get them cleaned because it is quite a cool little mechanism and if i can get it working i'll show you guys how it works but uh yeah let's get into how to fix it first of all just need to pop the bonnet um now the bonnet is popped we'll lift it there we go like so and now the two pipes that we want to be removing are this one here and this one here they're all part of the same pipe as you can see and uh, they're fairly easy to remove you just pull them uh, like this just be careful that you don't snap anything there we go and what you don't want to do is pull this because this is your heated nozzles as part of the winter pack now the first method I'm going to use is the stick method, um, which is just where you take a kebab skewer and poke it up in the hole and hope that, that clears it a bit. I haven't got too much hope and actually you see I've tried it here before. I wonder what the Volvo mechanics must have thought when they were doing my windscreen, finding cocktail sticks everywhere. But um, yeah, so what we do, just slide it up in there uh, until it won't go anymore and just really root around in there as much as you can. They get blocked up these from lime scale, um, all that just general minerals and stuff inside the water that you use, which is why you should probably use um, proper washer fluid more than anything. But um, if you can get this to focus, you'll see that there is already some dirt coming out. It's not gonna play ball. But uh, yeah, there's already some dirt, so I'm gonna give these a good um, poke and a prod. Ah, there we go. And uh, see if we can't get some of this dislodged and unblocked. Now what we also want to do is give it a bit of love from up top as well. Um, so what I tend to do, this is a bit too big. Um, you can just about get it in there, but um, I like to use a sort of like a drawing pin or a safety pin or something like that and just clear the holes in the top here. There we go. So you can see we've got a, a lower hole at the bottom here. If I can get it to focus and stay focused. There we go. We've got a lower hole here uh, and you'll see it slides in an upper hole and um, the lower hole is what sort of sprays the width um, and then this top hole sprays the majority of the water um, essentially so um, I'll try and give those a f give that a bit of attention as well um, and then let you guys know how we get on otherwise we might have to use some more heavy equipment Oh, 
Okay then, so um, I think I've done a decent job on it. Um, now another trick that I wouldn't advise doing, but you can sort of blow over this and see if you can get air through. And if you can, that's usually a good indication that you've got the block cleared. So what I'm going to do, flip the bonnet back up, bung our pipe back in, like so. Just push it in, and also just, just check that this isn't blocked as well, because obviously that would be a nice easy fix. Um, like so, and now let's test it and see if it's any better. Okay then, so as you saw there, that was definitely a marked improvement. It wasn't perfect, and we've still got a bit of a way to go. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep uh, faithful with this method, keep going with it, um, and then do it on the other side as well, and hopefully that will... Um, clear it up for us. So I'll do that a couple more times and join you guys in a second. Okay then guys, so as you saw there, we now have success. Um, I've spent about 15 minutes just poking and prodding at these and uh, we now have full spray on the windscreen, which is fantastic. Now our next task is to tackle the uh, headlight washers now this is something that Volvo introduced a long long time ago on their cars and essentially what happens is, is every five times the windscreen washers are uh, used then you'll get these things um, which come open uh, you can move them and you can pull them open like so um, and they're meant to spray a really heavy jet onto the uh, headlight uh, to clean it off. Obviously really helpful in salty climates um, or climates where it snows a lot and you have to use salt to uh, clean the roads. They're actually, uh, I think, made a mandatory requirement for Zenon headlights and stuff like that. So quite an important thing. So like I said, um, this wasn't working when I first got the car. Um, I replaced the uh, front bumper, which was damaged. Um, from the previous owner uh, and then replace the pump now it's got a bit of a weird system on it this car and I'll explain that in a minute when we get to it but uh, the, f the headlight washer pump is behind here behind the fog light so we're gonna have to remove that um, and then for those just for reference the uh, windscreen washer pump is accessed by turning the wheel the other way and removing the um, liner of the wheel arch um, and then you can sort of pull it back and get into it so um, it's quite a quite a simple thing to get to and the pumps are really easy to replace um, but uh, yeah so I now need to sort of diagnose where or what happens um, to cause the headlights not to work now in order to do that what I'm gonna do is um, set up the GoPro outside because obviously I can't see and um, get the headlight washers to activate so I'm going to set the GoPro um, so I'll, I'm going to then re-watch the footage that I filmed for you guys to see what happens um, see if anything happens really uh, so I'm going to quickly just set up the GoPro on the floor down here point it up towards the lights then I'll set the audio to record as well so we can hear whether there's a pump working or anything like that and uh, work out what is going on to stop these working Okay then, so from that video, it's quite difficult to tell whether there are two pumps working or just the one. Um, the headlight, the, sorry, the, the windscreen washers are working perfectly, so I think what we're going to have to do is pop this fog light to round out, pop the fog light out, and try and access the pump to see if the, um, the plugs come off it, um, and perhaps that's why, or whether there's been a, a pipe uh, disconnection somewhere. Um, and then, failing that, I'm going to have to pull the out pull the uh, washers out and inspect them manually um but um what i will say is my car has got a hybrid of two systems really on the early pre-2010 cars um they were fitted with motors on the inside of the bumper and what that did was basically electronically uh 
deployed them out. Uh, there was then a pump that then sprayed water onto the headlights um, and then they were attracted electronically. Now, the later cars had one which was a pressure system. So they were sprung and the pressure of the water being sprayed out would cause them to deploy um, through sort of a pneumatic pressure with the water rather than the um, electric, well, with an electric motor. So um, that might be my issue. It might be the fact that I'm running the standard pump for my car, which is the supported by the um, electronic motor, um, and it might be too much for it to get them out. Now, it has worked in the past plenty of times, so it might be got too much for the motor. So um, what I'll do is we'll, we'll um, test it and see what happens. Okay then, now what I will say is don't do what I'm doing um, and use a flat-headed screwdriver. Try and use something that um, is actually designed to do the job, such as a plastic trim tool. Um, otherwise you'll sort of cause a bit of damage to the uh, paintwork. Now I don't have the time or the patience um, to do that, and actually I've done this a few times and managed not to damage it. Um, I've got a few little tips. Um, but um, what we need to do is prise this out, this little section here. Um, which is easier said than done. There is lots of different little clips on it, um, which make it quite difficult to get to. So I'm um, gonna skip this part, um, do it, and show you guys what I mean behind uh, the panel itself. Okay then, so we managed to get the surround off eventually. Um, I resorted to using a little flat-bladed knife, uh, which isn't too bad. You just basically just try and get these, um, slide it in and try and get these top pins to drop down, uh, just by putting sort of, downward pressure on them and then you should be able to pop it out um, it doesn't take too long so what we need to do now is remove this fog light which is a simple little quick torque screw um, and then we'll have access to the uh, pump which you can see just there okay then so it's a, it's a t25 just for your reference um, and yeah it's just a tiny little screw that basically holds the fog light in so I'll just loosen that Do the rest by hand. Put that somewhere safe, and now we can pull the uh, whole fog light out. Um, there's a little clip on this side. There we go. There we are. Let's slide that out. There we go. Okay then guys, so upon inspection, I've been a bit of an idiot. Um, this is actually the pump for the uh, headlight washers. This is the cheap one. This is only about 25 pounds. And as you can see, it's got a plug in the top there, clips in, and there's pipes coming out the bottom there. So um, what I'm gonna have to do, reassemble this, and now take out the liner of there and um, check it that way. Okay, so fortunately that went in back in easier than um, it came out, so, uh, Let's get the engine started. This wheel turned away and get this arch liner out. Okay, so these again are all 225s. Um, there's been one right down the bottom here. And how much you sort of wanna, or how many of them you want to remove is completely up to you. Um, but I find sort of the, this one, this one, this one, and occasionally I'll take out this top one as well, just to give you extra access. I'm not gonna be completely removing the liner, just sort of bending it out the way, um, so we can get to the uh, pump. Okay, so now this should give us enough ability to get in and round here. Okay guys, so I've removed the uh, bolts now, and as you can see, we have access 
to our pumps this uh, little plug that you see here initially is that one there is the sensor and so if you need to replace the sensor that's the one now our pump is located here and to be honest it all looks okay um, I'm gonna have a look at the wiring um, I'm gonna have a look at the connections with the um, pipe work as well because I don't know if you can see but we've got a sort of a right angle there um, which connects to the pipe um, and then we've got our electricity that comes up here and it's this thick wire that comes down and goes around um, so I'll give that a look as well and then we've got various bits of pipe work underneath um, so give me a second to work this out and I'll explain what the issue is to you guys okay then guys so what I've actually done is remove the pump entirely from the car it's still plumbed in as you can see we've got our water feed line here and our electricity line here and I wonder if perhaps this has all got a bit wet um, perhaps it might have even corroded in the plug um, we've got this is where it sucks the water in um, so I'm gonna take this plug off and see how she looks if she's a bit um, ruined I might be able to clean up the connections and get it working again like I said it's a fairly new pump and as you can see it's all very new here's the part number uh, if you are looking for one um, to replace so let's get this plug off and see if we can uh, see what the issue is okay then so yeah as you can see we've got a bit of corrosion here uh, which doesn't look the best but I think what I'll do is um, try to scrape it off oh, actually that's come off quite easily um, I'm trying to scrape it off clean this up um, the pins inside the motor look fairly okay um, so Hopefully there hasn't been any sort of water ingress and um, we can get this bad boy back in and working by the end of the day. But uh, I'll give it a clean up and let you guys know. Okay, so I've put the pump back in um, just because it's sort of rapidly consuming my afternoon. I've got other stuff I want to do. So um, I'm going to put the pump back in, fill the washer fluid up um, to the top level because uh, that might have something to do with this and then uh, test it. If it doesn't work, I'll add it to the list of parts that I need to reorder um, and add it to the list, my jobs list for the car. And yeah, so I'll join you guys in a minute once I've sort of reassembled everything um, and we do a quick test. Okay then guys, so as you saw, um, we were unsuccessful with the headlight washer. I'm not quite sure why, I don't know whether the, the pumps failed or not, but like I said, I'm a bit pushed for time. Um, but um, when I started the car up, we've now got um, a headlight out. So um, I'm going to quickly now nip down to the garage and get another bulb. Um, so yeah, oh well. It's one of, the, one of the good things about these cars, isn't it? Um, they always keep you going. So um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Sorry it's not been a particularly helpful video for those of you with issues on the uh, old headlight washers, but hopefully it's given you an insight as to how the system works um, and the whole windscreen washer bottle system, um, as it were. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.